Ryan with your host, X Brad TC. Today we will be making chicken wallipop, chicken drumstick wallipops. Take a drumstick, take your knife, start cutting. We're going to cut off the end of the drumstick, all this skin and sinew and whatnot that nobody ever enjoys. Everybody loves a drumstick, but nobody likes this stuff. down the meat to get it all down towards one end to make it look like a lollipop. Exactly what it looks like. Now this, nobody eats this. Nobody wants to eat this sinew either. So what we're going to do we're going to take a pair of clean garden shears that we haven't really used for much else besides the cooking. We're going to cut off some of the less presentable bits. Come on. And then because nobody eats this little bit at the end of a chicken drumstick, simply going to cut it off. There we go. Tidy that up a little bit. There's a chicken drumstick for you. All right, we've got our meat lollipops over here. They're ready to go. Next up, we're going to make a sauce. Take Hwasin sauce. This will be a nice glaze. <clears throat> this is very much like a uh, Asian barbecue almost, barbecue sauce. Slightly sweet, slightly tangy. that we're going to add a lot, not a lot, but a healthy, healthy, healthy portion of honey, which you will find in an amazing number of Asian dishes. You'll notice these very precise measurements based on, I think it looks good. Next up, soy sauce. Because it's not Asian if you don't do soy sauce. By the way, you, do, you can do the chicken with anything. Barbecue sauce, bread it, you name it. All right. That's probably a little too much soy sauce, but what are they going to do? Fire me. A little bit of onion powder. Just a little bit. And just a little bit of cinnamon, of all things. Yeah. Just a little hint. That came out a lot faster than the onion powder. The final piece of this particular recipe, we're going to add plenty of garlic. You may have noticed by now, I like garlic. I'm putting garlic in everything. Once again, if you don't have a garlic press and don't want to mince up garlic by hand, you can just Use store-bought minced garlic. You can use garlic powder, whatever. 
But guys, if you're trying to impress the lady folk, spend the six bucks, get a garlic press, spend the extra dollar, get a couple of heads of garlic. Show off for her. It's not like there's some great secret. I mean, I can do it. Any idiot can do it. in there, you. Stir that up. Probably don't want my garlic press going down the garbage disposal. I just had the garbage disposal replaced. It would be kind of hard on it. I kind of like that pearl press. Alright, we'll give that a second to sit there. It's well mixed. Here's our chicken. Here's our pan. right in there. I like to put them on a little rack. You don't have to. I just think it makes it a little easier to clean up. The kitchen brush. Make sure we get all the chicken covered nice and covered there. There you go. We're not going to we're not going to throw that away. We're actually going to keep that. But this is ready to go in the oven. All right. You be the judge. You tell me how did that come out? We're going to add just a little bit, and I mean just a little bit, on top. going there. These look gorgeous. 45 minutes is kind of a long time to leave chicken on in an oven. But drumsticks, you don't hurt them too much. What do you think? How's that look? Absolutely delicious. Thanks again for enjoying this episode of Death From Within with x TC alongside me. Hope you've enjoyed it. Guys, try this. This is simple. It's really good. Dig in.